Now we'll start with the main topic tumor and immune system. So what are tumors? Tumors are abnormal cells which have started to divide in an uncontrolled manner. This happens because there is an abnormal genetic makeup in these cells because of development of a mutation. This mutation causes the cells to go grow in an uncontrolled fashion. As you can see in the center brown cells, they have started to proliferate in an uncontrolled manner. And these cells start making abnormal proteins as well. These abnormal proteins are recognized by the immune cells which here in this figure has been depicted as blue, violet, green and orange in color. Immune system is made up of several different types of cells and all these cells because of a difference in the genetic makeup of these abnormal cells they start recognizing these, these abnormal cells and they try to eliminate these abnormal cells so that your body is protected from tumor. As you can see in the figure, how does the immune system actually recognizes your cancer cells as foreign cells because they have generated from the normal cells of your body. These cancer cells harbor a mutation which here has been depicted as red in color. So you have a mutation in the genome of the cell and this particular mutation gives rise to abnormal proteins which are then degraded via proteosomal system to form abnormal peptides which through a machinery within the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus are now projected on the cell surface via MHC molecule. So these red proteins or peptides that are projected on the cell surface are now recognized by the immune cells and foreign. So because of these foreign antigens that are present on these tumor cells your body's immune system recognizes these tumor cells to be foreign and start attacking these tumor cells so as to destroy them and protect the body from the abnormal growth of these tumor cells. So there are two types of these tumor antigens. One is called tumor specific transplantation antigen. This is unique to tumor. So this represents mutations of specific genes. So example, one of the examples is a mutant P53. So mutant P53 is not found in a normal cell. But when a tumor generates, if mutant P53 is present, so this can be categorized as a tumor specific transplantation antigen, which is found only in the tumor cells. Another category of antigens are called tumor associated transplantation antigens. So these are not unique to tumors. So some proteins which are expressed at a particular level in normal cells when they start to express in a very high level these can be categorized as tumor associated transplantation antigens so that means that these antigens are present in normal cells but in case of cancer they starts to express in an abnormal manner and because of this abnormal expression of these antigens they are being recognized by the immune system to be foreign and they target the cells that are expressing this antigens. So here in this particular figure what you can see is that one of the immune cells which is termed as natural killer cells or the NK cells they recognize the cancer cell via its antigen. So tumor cells express this cancer antigen so as described earlier and these antigens are being recognized by the antibodies. The antibodies are actually synthesized by the B cells or the B lymphocytes. The antibodies recognize the antigen and these antibodies which is now bind to an antigen is recognized by the NK cells. Because of this recognition the NK cells now release perforin and granzyme. The perforin and granzyme is capable of actually causing pores on the cancer cell surface, cell membrane of the cancer cells and these granzymes on entering the cancer cells, they cause the activation of the apoptosis cascade in the cancer cells, thereby causing the lysis of the cancer cells. Similarly, other immune cells such as cytotoxic T lymphocyte, macrophages as well as neutrophils are also responsible for recognizing the cancer cells further followed by the killing of the cancer cells via a mechanism which is termed as apoptosis.